How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has just released iOS 15.4 which is by far the biggest update in iOS 15 so far and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know, all of the changes and all of the new features starting of course with Face ID, the biggest of them all. So let's go here to settings, scroll down a little bit and tap on Face ID and passcode, type in the passcode, tap on done. And then if we scroll down a bit, we'll see the new feature, which is Face ID with a mask. That's right. Now with iOS 15.4, you can use Face ID to unlock your iPhone and use Apple Pay and authenticate for App Store payments and everything, even if you're wearing a mask. You can use Face ID as you would normally while wearing a mask. This is absolutely incredible and it's finally here on the iPhone in iOS 15.4. I already have a dedicated video right here on the channel on this new feature on Face ID with a mask, so I'll go ahead and put a card right here in the link in the description so you can go ahead and watch that video on which I teach you absolutely everything you need to know about the new feature. I demonstrate how it works, I show you how to set it up, and I explain you everything you need to know. All right, so go ahead watch that video and enable on your iPhone right now. Just one thing that I'm pretty sure not everyone will be happy about the new feature is that it's only compatible with the iPhone 12 series and 13 series. So if you have an iPhone 11 or older, unfortunately Face ID with a mask does not work due to hardware limitations. The next feature I want to talk about is called Tap to Pay and it's absolutely revolutionary. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it to you right now just because it does not work yet, but Apple created this new feature, made available the new feature called tap to pay on which you can use your iPhone as a payment terminal. So you can literally get, for example, a credit card or a debit card with contactless payment, uh, touch the iPhone on the back, and then it'll accept the payment. So again, it'll make the iPhone a payment terminal. This is absolutely insane. Of course, you can also use with digital pay payment methods. So for example, you can grab an iPhone with Apple Pay and then touch on the back of another iPhone and then it'll make the transaction as well. But of course, in order for this to work, we need uh, the platforms to be compatible. So we need the current finance platforms to comply with tap to pay and to authenticate the iPhone to be used as a terminal, but Apple has already made it available. The iPhone is already compatible with the technology. It's just a matter of time until the finance platforms actually integrate with the iPhone. Please keep in mind that tap to pay is a feature that will only available from the iPhone XS and newer. So again, older iPhones will not be compatible with the new feature. But nevertheless, incredible, especially for small businesses owners, this is amazing, guys. Now let's talk about new emojis. That's right, we have quite a lot of new emojis, as you can see, new smiley faces, new icons, new objects, new handshake uh, with different uh, skin tones, absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it, especially like the melting face. A new change here uh, on this one, which was already uh, an emoji, but they changed it a little bit. New one, uh, trying like the peekaboo thing or trying to hide a little bit. Salute. Uh, this new, you know, this new face where you're like, ah, I didn't like it, you know. Uh, and a ton of new faces pointing to you. Uh, a lot. A lot of new emojis. I really liked it and I'm sure everyone will start using those. Now let's talk about new wallpaper. And I'm pretty sure some of you have already noticed that in this video, I'm using a new wallpaper. This new green wallpaper here is brand new in iOS 15.4. Let me show you. So if you go to settings, and then if you go here to wallpaper, choose a new wallpaper and live, as you can see right here, we have this new green, of course, celebrating the new green colors that was that were just introduced for the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro. So we have it right here. I really liked it. I'm using it already. I think it, even though my iPhone is blue, but I really like it. I'm using, I think it matches so well. And this green looks very, very nice. Unfortunately, it's also only compatible with newer iPhones. 
Now let's talk about AirTag, and I'm bringing my AirTag close to my iPhone just because I want to show you this new screen, new to iOS 15.4, that's going to show every time you want to pair your AirTag to your iPhone for the first time, all right, and link it to your Apple ID, of course. So if you tap on Connect, and unfortunately my AirTag, as you can see, has low battery and is asking me to change my battery. Unfortunately, I can't do it right now, so I'm gonna exit the setup. But what the screen is pretty much gonna tell you is this device should not be used to stalk somebody. I mean, the idea here is to attach the AirTag to an object, to something that you don't wanna lose, not to a person. If you do it and you attach it to a person without them knowing, this can be uh, uh, considered a crime and is really bad. And naturally, this is something you shouldn't do. Don't use your air tag to stalk somebody, to track somebody without them knowing, all right? This is a crime. Now let me show you something new in the Magnifier app, which you can look for just like Magnifier, or you can use it from the control center as well, all right? So if you tap on Magnifier right here in iOS 15.4, let me just zoom out. In iOS 15.4, we have this new menu. When you tap on the new camera right here on the left edge, if you tap on the camera, you see that you have two, three different options now, auto, close up, and front. Of course, if you tap on front, you can actually zoom in from the front facing camera, which is very nice. And it zooms in much, much more than your usual camera app. But also you can tap on the little close up icon, which is like a macro icon. And then it zooms so much. It zooms in so, so much. Let me show you. So you can see the little tiny scratches and uh, dirt and everything else right here on my AirTag is absolutely, in, even on the desk, it's absolutely incredible. So now we have this new menu, much better to use the Magnifier app. I really liked it. Now let me show you something new in the Notes app. So if I open it up and then if I tap here on the camera icon, you can see there is a new menu and it's much more useful because now we can uh, choose a photo or video from the library. The, like if you wanna attach a photo that you already have in your photo library, uh, you can take a photo or video right now from the camera app, or you can scan a document, very good if you wanna scan something, and even you can scan text, the new feature in iOS 15 that you can use live text. So new big menu, very easy if you wanna use your camera for absolutely anything, like take a photo, choose a photo, scan a document, or scan a text, you can do it straight here from this little icon, the camera icon right now in the Notes app. And also, this new feature is also available the exact same way in the Reminders app as well, if you wanna use it. We also have a new feature in the iCloud Passwords. Let me show you. So if we tap on Settings and scroll down until you see Passwords, and then you have to sign in with your face or your Touch ID or even a password, let me do that. So now when you create a new password or you tap on any of your own passwords, you have the new option to add notes. So we have all your information about your password and also now you can add notes if you wanna write something down, for example, which is very, very useful. All their password managers already had that. Now it's here in iCloud Passwords and I'm gonna to start to use it. iOS 15.4 fixed an issue with ProMotion in the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. And it had to do with some glitches, some problems that happened in the high refresh rate of 120 Hertz. So depending on the app, on depending on the animation, it would just not look so good. You know, it would be a little bit glitchy. It's hard to show here because it was not all the time, but Apple knew that and they said they would fix on a later update and this is the update, iOS 15.4, and it also made it easier for developers to use ProMotion, so really good. iOS 15.4 changed something right here in the Emergency SOS. So if you tap on Settings and you scroll down until you see Emergency SOS, you see that now, by default, the iPhone will call emergency services when you press and hold the power, the side button, and the volume button for five seconds. Back then, it would be with five presses, so you have to press five times, 
now it's press and hold for five seconds. It changed the default. You can do, you can still change back to call with five presses, but as I said, by default, it's now uh, turned on with a hold. And last but not least, let's talk about Siri. So if we tap on settings, and if we scroll down until you see Siri and search, and if you use an American voice for Siri, as I do, there's a new voice. So if you tap on Siri voice, you see that there's a new voice, this one that I have selected, which is called voice five. And that's it, a new voice. If you like, you can change and try it out by yourself. All right, so that's it. A ton of new features. It was an absolutely huge update, as I mentioned before, with incredible new features and changes. That's why I said iOS 15.4 is the biggest one in iOS 15. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next days as usual. Bye-bye.